Hello everyone and welcome to iOpen TCGs, the channel where I open TCGs. And today we have box number three of my master case of Sorcery Contested Realm, where the hunt is on for a step curio. And it kind of occurred to me that I never really explained what a curio was in my last couple of episodes if you're not familiar with sorcery. So I might as well start this, start out explaining that. Now I will say um, it's 4 a.m. right now. I took a really early nap slash sleep. I guess I should say the, the, the nap turned into a sleep. So, you know, energy level is a little messed up. But I wanted to continue opening this, so here we are. Um, I did just upload um, the very first episode. So uh, if you haven't seen that yet, please check it out. This is episode three, so episode two should come out soon. Um, but uh, yeah, in Sorcery, one of the coolest things is they have these like very special, I guess, lotto cards. Um, they're called Curios. They When the set came out... Uh, the company didn't didn't say how many there were, which ones they are. So it was kind of a community effort to um, to find them all. Um, and so it's a very rare chance. Um, still a little bit debatable on what the actual chance is because nobody knows for sure. Um, but people still guess it's a uh, one out of every fifty boxes. Um, and uh, okay, first pack we got our first. Foil Blaze. All right. Um, and yeah, there are 18 of them in beta and a different 18 of them in alpha. Um, so to get a specific one, it's pretty hard. We are hunting for the Step Curio, which uh, to me is one of the most, uh, the, the prettiest one. Um, but uh, yeah, it looks like it's one of these boxes where we get a bunch of foils first. Midnight Rogue. Still very much a first half case here. All right. But uh, yeah. First two boxes. Again, spoilers if you haven't watched those. But I hope you do just to be on the same journey here. Um, they're pretty good. Not amazing. I think we... We got lucky that we not only got a unique, but we got lucky that both of them were high value ones. That is pretty rare. So I have a feeling the rest of these are not going to be very good boxes, especially because it's a quote unquote first half box. But we got ourselves a Pudge Butcher. Um, uh, Again, if you, if you don't know much about sorcery, uh, at, at the bottom of all of these boxes, there's this little dust code. And the, the code is just like a, a rewards program, so to speak. You, you scratch it off, you register that, and they have this program called the Dust Program that hasn't fully launched yet, but it's supposed to let you get some cool promos and stuff. So there's a really cool Pudge Butcher promo, which is like uh, re... Uh, uh, I don't know what the, it's it's late right now. It's like rearded. <laughs> That's not the right word, but uh, it's like the Pudge Butcher, for, but from behind. So it's like full ass crack Pudge Butcher, and so I'm very very excited about that one. I, I hope it comes out soon so I can get it. But yeah, so if you're opening sorcery, watch out for that code at the bottom. Make sure you cut it out or register it, um, or you can even sell it. Some people buy them usually. Usually around seven dollars, I think, right now. But it's all a gamble because uh, we don't know how much the promos are going to cost in dust. We don't know how often they're going to be available. We don't know anything about it. Um, we were supposed to hear more news at the beginning of the year, but I think it's been they're trying to figure it out still. Um, but uh, yeah, so far pretty boring box let's hope it heats up but uh yeah i'm gonna kind of power through these don't know how many i'll open but uh 
Yeah, the first two uh, went well, so here I am. <clears throat> but yeah, I love the idea of the curios. It's always really nice to have lotto cards, I think, in a in a set. Again, my main game that I've collected over the years is channel used to be, you know, I open flesh and blood. Uh, flesh and blood has dabbled in lotto cards, but to varying degrees of success. And of course, Magic the Gathering, which I don't I only know tangentially. I don't I don't play it or anything like that. Um, you know, they put in lotto cards, you know, serialized cards and things like that. And again, I'm not an expert. I only know what I've absorbed through the Internet, but I think generally those do well, too. So always gives you kind of a something to look for, you know. All right, that was a third of the box, and holy moly, that was empty. Um, no non-foil uniques yet. No fun foils either. That can't be a good sign. All right, we got ourselves our third foil, Spectral Stalker. Just an ordinary one. Like I said, I have a feeling this is going to be a pretty boring one. Another foil here. And our first unique, Lord of the Unland. Let me put this down. All right. Again, we want to see some cores. We want to see some stones. Okay, see, this is in the slot right after. We got polar bears. Oh, yeah. Oh, we got an ordinary foil box here. <laughs> oh, the polar bear art is always so funny to me. It's like there's magic and crazy shit going on and crazy creatures like this angler and it's like polar bears. All right, speaking of ordinary foils and ordinary men, we got old salt anchorman. Oh, boy, howdy, is this box going to be one of those. Definitely a drought, a drought of good stuff so far. But, again, one of the cool things that I love about opening sorcery is that it could change at any moment. At any moment, you don't know what could happen in the middle of a box opening. Falconeer. But yeah, if you uh, are interested in picking up the game, since I have opened so much, I do sell some play sets of ordinary cards, exceptionals, elites, even unique full sets, or even a full play set of every card in the, in the beta set. You can reach out to me, I guess, through YouTube. I don't really have any other social media channels, but... Um, yeah. All right. We got ourselves a Pendulum of Peril. Unique. Again, I think another wah, wah, unique there. Oh, okay. Half the box already finished. Is this going to be... Okay. We got ourselves a Crusade non-foil. And the, this is in the top 10 there. Not too bad. Fair nothing. All right. Good compliment to the last one. And we, we have ourselves a raised dead foil. Just a exceptional one there. Okay, that's six foils. Three more. Three more. Come on now. Let's get something good here. He's Minotaur. All right.
But yeah, I... Sometimes I... have a feeling, you know, about a box and I get really sad and then it surprises me. But then now that I know that that happens to me, then it doesn't happen to me. You know, superstitious. Or dumb superstitions. That's uh, how I work. All right. Done with Edge of the World. Uh, done with the f second third. Oh, okay. We got ourselves an infiltrate foil. I mentioned in the either it was the the last video or the first episode that there are some foils that just don't show up too often. I believe infiltrate is one of those, but I could be wrong. I'm, I'm second guessing myself right now, but either way, very playable card. I don't know if I. I'm pretty sure I've never pulled one. I'll need to double check that after this, but that's a that's a pull. I'll take that. Always good to to not get just ordinary and elite ones or ordinary ex exceptional ones. All right, sorry, I was I don't know what I was looking at, but my brain just farted there. Two more foils, four more non foils. Can we get something good? Get a stone to continue the. Uh, Pretty decent thing here. We got ourselves another one of these um, Earth's Ordinary Sites. We got one of each one between last box and this box. Um, all right. One more foil. You know, it could be a foil piece stone. <clears throat> Excuse me. Although I kind of doubt it. Yep, we got ourselves a Summer River Ordinary foil there to close out the foils. Come. Okay. So that's probably it for the foils. We got ourselves, I don't know, eight or nine more packs. Four more non-foils. Can we get... Okay, I was about to say, can we get a core or a stone? And we do get a core. Very, very good for that EV there. Happy with that. Now can we get another one? Can we get another one? Greedy, greedy I am. All right, three more. Ooh, another. We got the Heavy Pudge Butcher one. We got ourselves the Warp Spasm. Like, look at that art, man. Too bad this card is like... A dollar, but crazy art. All right, we got five there, so two more chances at something big. Here. We got, nope, bottomless pit elite. That old man. Chilling. Imagine being just an old, old sail anchor man in a world filled with these beasts. Far East, ass assin. All right, this is over. Four more packs, two more uniques, something good. Oh, no, just the Island Leviathan Elite. All right, three more. Man, really teasing us until the end here. All right, we got a mix air. So the mixes are actually worth a, a decent amount, usually like three to five dollars. I don't add them into the tally because I kind of resolve to only add in 
foils and uniques into the tally, but anytime you see a mix, still a little decent. Uh, I think it's not infiltrate. It, I think I was thinking of backstab. Backstab's the one of those foils that are really hard to get. We got ourselves Dream Quest, unique. So maybe that infiltrate is well. It's still playable, and plus you already saw the price, but. All right, last pack magic. There should be a unique in here. Can we get something good? Like a stone, core, princess, Highland princess? Ooh, that does not look like... We got ourselves a gigantism. Wah, wah. All right. Still, we expect a kind of a, a meh box, and a meh box we got indeed. Look at our foils really quickly here. We got ourselves one, two, three, four, five, six ordinary foils. Never a good sign when you get that many. Two exceptional foils, and then one elite foil. And then at least in the non-foils, we got ourselves the Aquamarine, Aquamarine Corps and the Crusade. Those at least together, at least half the box. I don't think, I don't think we got close to the 150 EV, but you know what? You can't win them all. Very happy with how the first two boxes went. So of course, two or three of these in the same case are going to be bad as well. So... Let's see if this trend continues. I will see you in the next episode. Thank you so much. And again, like, subscribe, leave a comment. Um, I'd really appreciate that. Bye.